All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Rosh, the waters to the elders and apostles uh, of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Uh, walk, walk, them, learning, and teaching, and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video through the Spirit. This one's probably going to be a real quick one. Uh, you know, probably about 10 minutes or so. Uh, and basically, you know, the point of this one being how the Spirit, uh, and what I mean by that is the Holy Spirit, the understanding of His truth. It's it moves in a circular motion, all right. The way that this truth is, the heavenly Father. Oh, uh, the scriptures just came to my head. But the heavenly Father, there's no to help understand. It's not like a, a you know, everything has a beginning and everything has an end. You know, a start and a cut off point. But this truth is everlasting. This truth isn't stagnant, nor does it grow still. All right. And the main inspiration that I got for this video, you know, I've been going over. Uh, I'm fine, finally I'll be finishing up, but I've been going going over the breakdowns and revelation, you know, uh, from start to finish, the videos that the apostles had did, I believe, I don't know why I want to say 2011, when they did like that whole couch series, I want to, for some reason, I want to say like either 2011 or 2012, I, I know it was post-depression, so I know it was sometime after 2008 and 2009 uh but th you know we're now 2020 so this could have been done you know eight nine ten years ago uh i can't remember the exact date but you know for brothers that's been around for a minute y'all know probably what collection of videos i'm talking about you know the whole they broke down from revelation chapter one to the last chapter and basically as i i was and i, I realized this from the from the first video, from when they were breaking down in Revelation chapter 1, many of the things that they were talking about in certain instances and uh, testimonies that they were given and examples they were talking on apply to today, all right? Matter of fact, and when I say today, I mean to today's time. As I was going over that breakdowns, if I remember correctly, they showed, they were speaking about the movie Contagion and about the SARMS virus, and this had to be this had to, at that point, I forget what chapter, they were going in the chapter dealing with, uh, some of the chapters dealing with plagues and pestilences uh, coming upon the earth. Uh, this wasn't a couple of days ago, this may have been a couple of weeks ago, but then it just came back to mind here recently, because what are we dealing with now? The That coronavirus, alright? You know, hey, this truth is, the Heavenly Father knew all things before uh, creation, alright? So, the, hey, man, this truth, the, let me just get this scripture. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. All right, so this truth doesn't have an expiration date. There's no way that it becomes played out and it doesn't apply anymore. All right, the, the scriptures in Genesis are still applied to this very day and time. All right, certain prophecies in Genesis we still see in uh work their work here in today's time and that's how this truth is and the image that i'm gonna have up if, uh from that movie arrival all right those creatures you know they were calling them aliens in that movie that came down in ships the way that they understood time and the way that they spoke they didn't do things in a a to b manner they did things in a circular everlasting manner all right and you'll see one of the symbols the way that they spoke they didn't just speak you know, left to right, they they spoke in a in a in a continuance. All right, it, 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 I'm not about to go too deep into the movie, but that's is it just uh, dealing with this topic. That symbol is staying in my head. This truth is circular; it keeps moving. All right, let me get this real quick. Out of uh, out of a uh, address. This is Second Edges chapter five verse forty-two. All right, and that's why, man. Even videos from the elders and apostles back in the nineteen eighties uh, and nineties still apply today. They may mention things that were you can pull a precept out for to this moment. All right, in which <clears throat> I was just watching the elder brother, uh, or you know the, the brother uh, uh, Micah Allah down there in L.A. He had even mentioned how this truth. You know, hey, it's like a, it's like a river, all right. And when you look at hell, when you look at nature, the way that the heavenly Father set things up, everything is in a continuing 
uh, motion. When you look at, uh, if your brothers are familiar with the movie Lion King, what would they always mention? The circle of life. The predator uh, kills the prey, all right, but then the predator itself dies. The prey feed on the predator, all right, because the predator disintegrate, disintegrates, turns to the grass. Eventually, that prey is going to poop it out. Then the bugs is going to eat it, all right. Then they go and move here, pollinate. Hey, everything is in an everlasting motion, and that's how the Heavenly Father set it up from the foundation. And so since that's the case, we have to be in a circular motion. And what I mean by that is like hopscotch. You got to jump in and you got to stay in. You don't just do, you did your one video for the year, or you just read, all right, I read from Genesis to Revelation run, uh, once. You know, it's a wrap now. I'll see you on the kingdom. No, you got to keep the things going, just like the will on a tire. You got to keep it rolling. All right, Second Edges chapter 5, verse 42. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. Uh, uh, like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. So the Heavenly Father likened his judgment unto a ring. Because at this time, Edris was asking if, you know, the prophecies could be sped up so we could hurry up and re reach the kingdom. And the Heavenly Father, which uh, he was speaking through the angel, was explaining to him how it's like a ring. All right. The Heavenly Father not going slow. He ain't forget. All right. The same way that a, a ring is. You can't get to <laughs> you can't get to one part of a ring quicker than the other. All right. If that makes any sense. Each part of the ring is uh, perfectly, it's at the same distance from an, from another, all right? All right, in contrast, if you take, uh, 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 an oval, all right, or, uh, I'm trying to think of another shape, uh, you know, a rhombus or something, there's certain angles and degrees that, you, they change depending on where you go, but when you look at a circle, you're dealing with the three, you're either dealing with a 180, a 90, or a 360, all right? There's no other angles or degrees you can get out of that. And that's how this truth is. And that's how the Heavenly Father's judgment is. It comes right on time and perfect. And it lands right when it's supposed to. It's not too slow. And it's not too fast. All right. Con, this is, uh, let me see. Let me see. Con, okay, right here. This is the one that I wanted. This is the Heavenly Father's uh, brilliance. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10 it says declaring the end from let me start at 9 Isaiah 46 and 9 it says remember the former things of old for I for I am uh, the most high power and there is none else and I am the most high power and there is none like me there's none like Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai verse 10 it says declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure all right so, hey, the Heavenly Father has the ability, he knows things before they are, all right? That's why he had, hey, Yahweh Shai, he set up Yahweh Shai to always be in the cut. Yahweh Shai even also, he was always there with us, you know, even when we didn't realize it. He was there coming out of, hey, Yahweh Shai always been there, man. Yahweh Shai has always been there, all right? So now that you, you know, I was bringing out all these scriptures to show you how the Heavenly Father deals, you know, that now that we understand uh, a little bit how things are done how are we supposed to be if we are uh, servants all right how we're we supposed to be we're supposed to be in that uh, circular motion all right to continue in similar uh, fashion to propagate this truth until we get up out of here all right let me get a uh, let me get this real quick Kind of I'm off in the cut trying to do this video I had to make sure on my when nobody's spying on me. <laughs> Alright, this is uh get this scripture real quick. So lock it. This is uh So lock it, y'all man. You saw a whole ass and put a uh, GPS on my truck now. So doing it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to get my videos in, but it's gonna get done, goddammit. Alright, this is uh Second Timothy chapter four. Uh, verse 2, it says, preach the word, be, in, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So we're supposed to be in season, not just one time of the year. Uh, by uh, What I mean by that, in season, like the other scripture tells you, being apt to teach. All right, We're supposed to be doing this work all year round, 360. All right, Not just for uh, the pretty months outside when motherfuckers is out 
at the beach like Baywatch and shit. We're supposed to be in uh, instant, in season and out of season, all right? At all times, just like a circle, just like a fucking uh, a ball and, uh, and encompassing at all angles, all right? Not slacking and not overdoing it. And that's, that's what this is, uh, you know, over time, you know, you, you got to learn yourself uh, in this truth. And you'll uh, catch your speed, basically. All right, like when you're jogging, you got mother, uh, <laughs> you got some people that can only jog, you know, four miles an hour. You got some people that can go out of seven. And you got some people, which is basically a, most people sprint, but you got some people that can jog at 13 miles an hour, which is the average in shaped person's uh, sprint. You know, that's the beginning of your sprint. All right, and that's how you, and you have to learn your speed concerning this truth. Because if you don't, all right, because if you become uh, stagnant, if you become uh, still waters, all right, you'll decay and you'll become full of uh, evil and you won't be good for drinking anymore. Like it tells you, in a, or when you look at nature, you know, if you have a river that wants you to flow, if for some reason, uh, let's say some otters come in and set up a dam, that water is going to become stagnant and, uh, you know, nasty, all right, if, if that uh, flow doesn't continue. All right, Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, it says, I know thy works. This was uh, in 14, and let you know this is written to the church of Laodicea. It says, I, Revelation 3 and 15, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So if you're not moving in that constant motion, at that constant speed, the Heavenly Father will discard you, all right? If you're claiming to be a prophet and you're not out here doing what you're supposed to, you have no use, all right? Imagine a car that doesn't drive. What do you do to it? You scrap it. Imagine a, a, a toothbrush that can't clean your teeth. What do you do to it? You trash it, all right? What do you do to anything that you purchase that you expect to get use out of and it stops working? You get rid of it. So what do you think the Heavenly Father will do if we're not doing what we're supposed to do? All right, what's he going to do? Hey, he's going to toss us out of the loop. He's going to throw us out of the motion of the circle, and you'll be back in the, <laughs> you'll be back a, 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 a square in the, <laughs> in the world. All right? You know, so, hey, we got to, uh, matter of fact, let me get this, and I'll end it on this one. We got to be, we got to be the moving waters, all right? We got to be that, uh, that, we got to have, and slot in, I'm stumbling over my words, but we have to establish uh, a certain routine so we can continue in this faith until we get up out of here. All right, this is, uh, let me see. Yep, John chapter 7, verse, let me see if I need to start. Yeah, I'll start up. Yep, John 7 and 37, uh, it says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow uh, rivers of living water. All right. And what does that mean? Hey, you're supposed to come to this truth. All right. If you seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, show yourself a faithful man. And this truth is going to, it's, it's going to, hey, it's going to roar up out of you. All right. Like a river of water, uh, like a river of waters. All right. And if you close off that faucet, all right, meaning what? If you close off your mind to this truth, if you're not doing what you're supposed to, if you become stagnant, then the Heavenly Father is going to turn off them living waters and, and it's going to turn to dead waters, all right? Then after that, you know, your ass is in the air. You you open for whatever comes your way, all right? So, hey, stay in the motion, all right? So figure out something, figure out what works for you and keep it going, all right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rechak Horash, the honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wakwatim, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. Uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.